peace, love, and light. Thanks for clicking on and joining me. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm beyond the spectrum. And um, So I just did a reading. I don't know if it'll be uploaded before this video or after this video. Thank you for watching. I truly am grateful for you. I, I really am. I'm grateful for you guys who watch. Because I know I'm different. Like I, I film a lot of the sky. And I explain what I see and what I feel intuitively by my guides and divine beings of love and light. And then I add my tarot to it. And um, it's just who I am. I'm real. I'm raw. And um, so I, I grab cards for that reading. And as I grab cards, this deck fell on the floor off the table open with cards come out. So that they want to talk. They have something to say. And then um, I have my window open and these cards fell over and there was messages as well. And yes, this is going to be, um, you know, divine journey reading. I am in a dark place right now. So if someone's in a dark place, okay, and we're going to help them with a solution. Now, if they see this, or they're guided to see it, going to help them stay in a solution to get out of the dark space. Because you're my best friend. I met up with you with with you every night in my dreams. Because of you I am awakened. Do you realize how amazing you are to me? Wow, that's like a complete freaking paragraph. That's a, an important message. So these came out first. And then I went into my room and then these fell on the floor, but yeah. So this is definitely a message for somebody. Um, an important message, so this is this is why I do. We'll get these messages out here. I'm gonna use the sacred rebel, and this is for my star seeds. You know who you are, you know. And if you're new, thank you for watching. I hope this reading resonates with you. And um, I ha I feel that if you're drawn to this, <clears throat> excuse me, reading, that there's a message, whether it's a word or a sentence or a paragraph, whatever, or the whole reading, I really believe that. I know that because I, I put that intention out there <clears throat> that something, you're a star seed here. You, you know, you feel different than everybody else. You see differently. You see things a lot of other people don't see. And then it's different. They they can make you feel different and, and be snarky. No, I don't even, I don't know why I use the word snarky. That's weird. Um, they can be jealous of it. <clears throat> I guess is a way to say it. Two forty four. As I said that, and that's not okay. That's not you. It's them. And um, this is a an Earth school. You know, we came down here. We volunteered here to help Mother Earth ascend. And um, when we came in, we have amnesia. And we forget because there are other entities here, moon energy, okay? You're enlightened, but you forget. We forget. The angels are here to help us open up, to see more. And this is for you, okay? I'm, I'm with you. I'm on this journey with you. <clears throat> this is Sagittarian energy, tempering energy out. I feel... I feel, even though Gabriel has the horn... I feel Gabriel right now with this card, with the moon. Messages of God, creator, divine love and light. Healing waters, Raphael. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Healing waters of Raphael. <clears throat> There's going to be more waters. There's going to be more things with waters. I keep seeing it. I've been talking about it because uh, I've been getting having dreams for long 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 time about the waters rising the earth changes that are going to happen and what we are going to um be going through and i know many have as well like very prophetic dreams so this this message someone is in a dark place right now and you are their best friend so i'm feeling like you're not talking to them I met up with you every night in my dreams. So this is for, you know, this isn't going to be for a lot of people. This, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it is. This is going to, I feel like a specific message. Because of you, I am awakened. Awakened. Page of Swords. Is this the Page of Swords or the King? I'm new to these kind. That's the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I feel Page of Swords with this for some reason. A new, a new...
a new thought, a new idea. It's new. <clears throat> it's King of Pentacles. He holds the contract, the promise. Anyway, all right. I'm going to start out with the Sacred Rebel deck. I'm going to put these over here to the side. And I'm just going to see what messages want to come through. Because I, you know, I, if I'm going to pick up on worldly, as and I'm, I will put, I will. I won't not say it. I won't not talk about it. <clears throat> I'm not that reader. I'm going to let you know. So, and thanks for chilling with me. I appreciate it. I hope I explain things well so that... I, um, I've been talking with a friend of mine, yeah, divine, diving for light. Someone is in a dark place right now, because when you're in a dark place, you're truly diving for light. You are. I, I, I believe you're searching for light, because that's how you know it's so dark. Every journey start, uh, starts with a, it's a definitely a leap of faith here right now. Someone is really being awakened. Many of you, many somebodies. Even the ones that are awakened, it's a new, it's a new level of something of divine uh, diving for light. I feel like getting another try. <sighs> seeing the true you, someone seeing themselves in their seeing you. They're seeing like they ref you reflect them. You reflect them. You're reflecting each other. Yeah, releasing allegiances. That's the dark place right now. Someone's releasing the, the <clears throat> bondage of self, old crap, toxic behaviors, dark attachments even, um, addictions. It's a 10. It's an ending, but a beginning. It's a divinely protected ending for someone to, to go head into their awakening, which is they're at the, um, yeah, she feels she knows. She feels she knows. He is she, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, all how, only way, not that people aren't awake, because I don't want to say that. Don't take it that way, but I, you know who you are, and you know what I'm saying when I'm saying this. When you see the in-between, and you see... So much more here <laughs> than what you did before. That awakening is a trip. It was for me. Um, I had to sit down on some of the stuff I woke up to, my belief systems. It's just like, wow. So someone's going through that. Seeing that came out twice. Seeing the true you. 9, 10, 11, it's a divine, it's a divine connection. Absolutely. 22 coming together. She feels, she knows. Seeing the true you. Trust yourself. Spirits all around this. Bottom of the deck after the storm. There's a storm coming. This person is going through a storm. These persons are, is going through a storm right now. And you can feel it. If you're connected, you can feel it from them. Because that's how, you know, it is. When you're connected to someone. Yeah, Knight of Swords. In that moon energy again, the feelings, feeling, but still not knowing. All right, someone's really getting more psychic, psychically connected. You're getting connected. So you're, you're connecting, enlightened, sword, clarity, clarity about the broken paradigm. Your what you you, what beliefs you were taught versus what your beliefs truly are and what you see now supernatural experience we live in a supernatural world <clears throat> it's all supernatural the moon is key here to this whole experience more things will be revealed more is being revealed man someone's pausing right now they really are seven of cups they're seeing a lot of things as illusions they're, they're getting enlightened they hope they know the cup they know the cup 
Spirit's guiding into the cup. Oh, this is very confusing. The more you realize in what is here more. For real. In the skies. <clears throat> Spirit, paranormal. With the, you know, pa it's not paranormal. It's normal. It's not paranormal. But it's increasing. Because the veil is open. Those portals open. The veil. That's the Aquarian. That's the waking up. To realizing that we are not disconnected. You, dragons may be significant to you or your person as well, but they're, you're, you're, this person's getting you're paused. God has said, you are going to pause no matter what. Get reconnected. You've been in hell. This looks to me like someone's been through it. They've got burned. No matter what cup they chose with somebody, they got burned. You could be connected to um, a star um, constellation that has dragons other than Draco. But, you know, that's real. That's very real. Um, check that out. That may be significant what constellation represents dragons. Because dragons are very real. They absolutely are. Just because you can't see it does not mean it's not there. Okay, you're my best friend. So that, maybe this is not all about this particular. Anyway, I'm just going to put this aside. So that's a message. Someone's meeting up in dreams because they're awakening. A lot of people are awakening. And they realize they have been in a dark place as well. You know, you have people getting sober out there for the first time in a long, whenever, for a long time. Because of um, the lie here. The getting sucked into the 3D it's a higher level than you really, that, that seems to be. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Someone's really been through it. High Priestess. Someone pissed off a High Priestess. And I don't mean like she did anything, just divinely. You weren't aligned. So therefore you had to go through because she was, the, she was in high regard. You were to hold her in high regard. And you didn't. Spirit's letting you, you're being reminded of something a lot. Ten of Swords. You are getting your High Priestess intuitive fe feelings back. You're getting your feelings back. The good news is, you're getting your feelings back. The bad news is, you're getting your feelings back. And you're, gonna, you're seeing things you forgot existed. You're seeing things you forgot existed. Yeah, star energy here, Aquarius. Beautiful healing. There's more to the stars than you realize. Strength, inner strength will be needed and warranted. Four of Pentacles, trust what you sense, feel, smell, without seeing with your two eyes. I don't know what that is for somebody, but that's a message. That's a Four of Pentacles. It's more beautiful without seeing your two eye with your two eyes. That, that's the message for somebody. Yeah, five of cups, the lovers. I had a feeling it's about somebody, a couple of somebodies that don't belong all together in the same situation. Queen of cups, king of swords. So he was the, she's all love and he wasn't, he wasn't the king of cups to her. He was the king of swords to her and treated her as such. He's remembering this now. There's a choice. He chose, he chose different. This person chose different. Cho chose different. And this person's waking up to this. Um, and I feel like it's kind of freaking him out. You may not even know who this person is. Well, not really. Like you could know of them. and who, Because we're at a, a different vibration now. It, the vibrations change. So we, we've had many, 144, 14414, when I said that, um, we, we have many lives, um, many layers to this realm of existence. And when you can shed that, when that, because it, it is a natural process, if you're constantly like getting in contact with your highest being, your higher being, 
cre through creator source because it is us. We create, carve our own destiny here. Yes, we have divine guidance, absolutely, but we have, we, we manifest, 1511, we manifest. We're able to do that. Someone's waking up to all of this. I feel like they're mind blown. Wasn't what they thought it was, but they thought it was. So this person's making it. He feels this. Per, I'm feeling like someone feels like they made the wrong choice, or they want to choose different, or something like that. However, that fits for you. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and Queen of Cups. I feel like someone wants to come toward you and has a ton of anxiety because it would be they would have to go through a threshold or of, of a spiritual awakening and it gives them anxiety. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Death, Three of Wands, Two of Swords, Three of Cups, huge transformation with Death. And ignited something in them. Spiritually got ignited. There's the raven. Ravens have been calling and call they have been tons of messages from the raven. Something new energy to make it tangible. It this is I feel like um this is pentacle significant because of the, the energy around it. It's like this person's feeling this um, connection with you differently. Three of Wands, yep. They're at a precipice right there to go, as I was saying earlier. Go, so a lot of people are, really, not just one, a lot of people are going through this right now. We, we all are. We're in a birthing canal. Two of Wands. We still haven't seen that. Two of Swords, I mean. Swords are down, but some of us are seeing the moon differently, the sky differently. Three of Cups. That's a marriage. That's a union. This card is a union. Even though there's three people, I'm not all. Not everything's freaking third party, unless it's third party. But this is, you know, this is a commitment. Many commitments, many lifetimes. How many times the two of whoever you are have done this on this journey? Because that's, that brings it back to the star, the twins. The, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't like that label, but it is. It's a, it's a twin. It, you connect it. It's, it. It just is what it is. On a different level than can be explained. There's, there's love and everything in life, absolutely. But this is a way higher vibrational um, connection. Uh, because it's you. It's you and you're hit them. It is. You, you're, you've done many lifetimes together. Many trials and tribulations to even stay together, be together. Doesn't matter. Nothing's going to keep you apart. You're connected. Someone made a choice. I feel like they want to make another choice. Eight of Wands and Ace of Cups. The, the, the promises. They're manifesting this with the Eight of Wands, bringing that energy in, that, that energy forward, messages forward. With Eight of Swords, get out of the Eight of Swords and, and get to the Ace of Swords with clarity through healing through the stars. You're connecting to your star family. You're understanding that stuff. Whoever I'm reaching, you're understanding about the star families and all that and how we're connected and the way that we're connected different yeah connected even though it's the three of swords this person's that person's healer page of cups this person's that person's healer these are new to this person it's like memory I feel like this is a memory for somebody with the water and it's like in a dream a dream 
Maybe that goes back to the dream about somebody's dreaming. Many somebodies are dreaming about freaking many somebodies because remembering lifetimes together. And or maybe we're all being <laughs> brought up in the ship every freaking night and that's why we all feel right now. This is a different, um, this is different. This is different. Five of Pentacles. You've done many lifetimes together. You've done five, at least five lifetimes together. Been through many storms. This is the golden ultimate time to come to life. Someone's really coming to life. They are truly changing their life. Because you made a difference to them. Five of Cups here again. They're in there really feely feels. And they're getting messages from spirit and downloads. Their head is spinning. I'm feeling like their head is spinning. Because they're remembering about this promise. But maybe they were slow to commit. And the person lost you. I don't know. Whatever your story is. However that fits for you. But um, they definitely hold that tw um, twin contract. The three waves that came in. You go, I go. And there's only so many of us that did that. But she may not take that cup that you want to offer her. It's because you're offering it. Uh, uh, this person's different now. Not that she doesn't see it. Or maybe he did, this person didn't see it before. But no, I feel uh, someone someone's outgrown this. Someone's outgrown this. That's not for everybody. So how can we help this person come out of the dark? How can we help this person come out of the dark? Archangel Metatron. Archangel Raphael. How can we help this person... They have to make a choice. Take that Ace of Wands. Make a choice. They have to make a choice. This, they're in their feely feels. It's either, are you going to be a player? I'm picking up on a damn player. Or are you going to be the King of Cups? Or the King of Cups is a player. And maybe that's why she doesn't want your cup. That could be two for somebody. Because this person's out, one, one scenario here, somebody's outgrown somebody, even though this person's real, like, you're my best friend. Well, you know, depends on what you did to the person. All right, let's get, um, yeah, Five of Cups keeps changes, changes, emotional changes. I'm going to um, get some healing energy for this person. Yeah, this is a heaven sent, heaven sent, come to life. So something heaven sent is coming in, coming to life. And you'll know it. You'll feel it. Collaborative dreaming. Damn. Wow. I meet up with you in my night every night of my dreams. Collaborative dreaming. I can't make that up. Thank you. Thank you. That is somebody's person. That they're truly like connected to. Like, yeah. Yeah. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Someone's definitely waking up. Owls are significant. We have two owls here. You have each other's tribe. You're connected cosmically. The cosmic net. Where'd you go? Do, 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 do. Right here. You're connected cosmically. I'm being shown to show you like that. Yep. That's beautiful. The promise. Wow. Hang on. Hang in there. Trust. Trust. Keep pushing forward. You must keep pushing forward. I know that the, someone took the two of swords away and they're oh, first opening their eyes and they're in shock. That's what I'm feeling from that two of swords. Like, they're like, whoa. What is, it's like, I can't even put it into words. Like, way opposite. Yeah, the perfection of your life. Something's being exposed. It's a three. It's a, it's, a, it's a Christ consciousness card. And I feel like this is about also the the um, celestial objects in the sky. Definitely. Because we are in the Christ consciousness. That's what you're waking up to. 
the true divine Christ consciousness. Some of us came in together. A lot of many of us came in together as family, um, even though we were not blood, family, star, soul connection. And there are the one that came the one that came in as two to raise the vibration. But they're connected to others. Soul groups to help raise the vibration of Gaia. Okay? This love connect and it's not like, oh love. No, like this is like light it's just like it, it I don't know. It's just like that. <clears throat> and everything just feels like, oh my God, you get me. And oh my God, I don't know. I, it just, to best way, I, it's more than that. It's, you feel, uh, you just know. It's a feeling. You know. And um, it changes the vibration of everybody around you. Some won't like it at all. But the ones that do, it helps raise their vibration. That's why there's... So many that came in to do that. And the three waves, three is divine. It's the Christ consciousness. You know, the, 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 um, the two sons. The Holy Spirit. The divine spirit. The Father and the two sons. Receiving. Son. Back there. I see it like that. Receiving, receiving. It, it downloads. So much universal downloads. Drinking it in. Go with the flow. Trust and rely. Someone is in a precipice of letting go of their old way of thinking and way of doing things in life to completely changing their whole... It is like night and day, I'm being told. Like night and day. So that's for somebody as well. Sacred Fool. That's the that's the um fool god leap of faith. So we have two, three, four, which is an ascension. That's an ascension, two, three, four. Into a seven, a spiritual experience. Into a whole nother realm of a way of it's a realm. It's a realm of being showed. It's a realm. It's like jumping I love one of the decks you have I have is like the person on the the fool the is they look go back and there's a whole like water like portal and it's like that's a whole new life. Whole new life. That's happening. That's beautiful. That's freaking beautiful. Diving for light. <laughs> Diving for light. Absolutely. Thank you. I hope that helps you. I feel like I wanna grab yeah, I'm right. I'm gonna grab the animal spirits. I want to feel like I. I don't feel like I did pull like because this person's in a dark space, and we can send them light and love, you know. And uh, maybe they'll see this message. So this is for the person, like or the people. Some, I feel like a, a small group. You're in a dark place, and I, I'm here to help. All right. You don't. You're not. It's not a dark. Is it's an illusion. All right. Okay. It's an illusion. You must release. You must release. It's okay to release. Hanging on is toxic. Hi, my, my mom. Oh my God, my baby. My familia. My familia. My freaking familia. She was a dog. She was a pit bull, but she looked like a female damn lion. And a cat. And I'm connected to Lyra. Thank you. Oh my God, I love you. Okay, leopards. They're leopards. Phenomenal hunters. Known for... Sorry, I don't have my glasses. Known for their... Did I not bring them out here? No. Known for their stealth ability to stalk and pray. Okay, so somebody's fucking watching somebody. All right, the snow leopard, which lives in the mountains of Central Asia, is among um, the most mysterious species and believed to have drawn the blood of its human victim without eating the flesh. Okay, that's great. By feeding on the... The force. Someone want okay, okay. This person takes your life force. Be careful of that. Be careful of that. There's someone around you that wants to connect with you. That wants to. They rat. That's such a thing. People can drain the shit out of you. Toxic people can literally drain the shit out of you, and but it feeds them. Watch out for that. That definitely watch out. Crocodile. Oh yeah, this is a warning. Crocodile behavior. 
Absolutely. Yep. Creatures of the water. Swampland. Suggests both fertility and the feminine principle of life and birth. We are in a new birth as well. We will be soon. Which appear to be myths. I wish I had my glasses. Legends while guardians of treasure and keepers of wisdom stories. They have evolved around revolved around encounters with the reptiles. This is about the reptilians that are here. Always significant risk, as with many mythological. Okay, so this is. This person could be connected to about that goes back to the star system, draconian star system that will drain you. Look at the dark energy. Someone's got dark energy that I feel like there's gonna. You'll see it. If you don't, be careful of it. Be careful of it. Oh, this is my girl. All right, she came through. I knew she would. But there's a loyal connection coming in. Symbolic. Devotion. I cannot read that. I'm sorry. Procrastination. No, protection ser protection and service. This is... Yep. Someone, someone's coming in for some of you that is completely different completely different and genuine and they are your they're your person they're your they're your person there's someone that's going to try to come in and act like your person and they're not your person a caribou cycles of life so there's a cycle ending and a rebirth happening and it's abundant the rebirth is abundant because you're going to see this person is trying to you'll remember because i feel like this is an experience you have with this where they took your life force and that's what they want yeah, what you want, what you want, wants you. New cycles coming in. Diving for light. Free from judgment, free to love now. Let go, let go of the judgment. Let go. Keeping yourself in judgment energy is not healthy. Learn, you know, learn your turnarounds and you must, you know, realize what your part in things are and then let it damn go and change behavior. Change behavior is an active apology. Change behavior is an active apology. If you can't change the behavior, then you have to move on, you know, from that person, no matter what you feel, whatever. They're, 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 someone's intention isn't good. That is definitely for somebody. Someone's intention is not good. They want to drink. You you feed them. They they if you stay with them for a period of time, they know how to work you. It's all a manipulation. It's all five of swords, head game, energy, deliberate, you know, and and it's toxic as shit. So that's coming in. But there's a you know loyalty here. Could be about your dog too. Loyalty here. Divine divine real partner coming in. They they're your protector. Look at this. They're your protector. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Look at that. Lyra. I'm picking up on Lyra. Lyra. Look it up if you don't know what Lyra's con star system, star seeds are. Look them up. They're beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. And every time I call them in, you have to, they tell you to smile because it opens up your crown chakra. And it's true. They're very powerful. They can remove things like, like that. They can. It's that, they're that divine. It's like poof, 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 poof. And you work with Metatron and you keep pulling in the divine light to release. Someone's got a lot of legions to release. They're just too toxic. We have a divine queen here. I feel like um, Nefertiti or um, Isis or like um, a star queen. A star queen here. And we have the crow. Damn. Yep, we do have the crow. The crow. Not surprised. And I really wish I had my glasses to read this. I'm going to do it like this, and you can read it and see what it means. Because it's important, and it will connect with this reading. The crow is very key. I can't see, though. Renewal. Transformation. Abundance. 
I can't see worth it. Just skip me. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get my glasses. Like the raven, which is often synonymous, the crow uh, wields powerful magic. In Native American, and it is the 400 year anniversary of the Native Americans and the pilgrims coming here and changing everything on these lands all over the United States, but it started here in Massachusetts with the Wampanoag here in Plymouth in Massachusetts and then expanded out and the Changed everything. Anyway, the Native American myth, the crow restores all order to the heaven. In Sioux belief, links the crow to abundance and prosperity. On legend tells of white crow that warns the buffalo every time a hunter approaches. This leads to hunger and starvation. And then the crow is eventually captured by the hunters and thrown into a fire. But it escapes before being completely burned. Being only blackened by the flames, black becomes its permanent color. So the crow is originally white. Love it. Um, as the crow flees, it promises never to warn the buffalo of approaching hunters again. The crow is thus a kind of phoenix that rises from the ash and symbolizing renewal, transformation, and the promise of abundance. So, yeah, they're warning us of something trying to maybe trap us somehow. I don't, I feel on a very, I don't know. I mean, take that how it resonates, but I personally take, I hear the crows all the time. I, I'm listening, and I, I know that's a warning, a significant, because look at, and I feel it's about, yes, I'm going to bring it there. Nibiru, I do. They are want, they're telling us. They're letting us know. They're letting us know. Changes are coming. The wolf, Native American energy with the feathers, sacred, creation, healing, purification. Although portrayed as a ma ma marauding villain in, in many Europe cultures, the wolves are deities in Native American cos cosmologies. In our popular totem, like the raven, damn, <laughs> thank you, which also appears in this painting, the wolf is a hero and creator. In some legends, she is the trickster sibling of the coyote. The coulette of the maca of the Pacific Northwest, coulettes, ascribe healing power of the wolf and perform a wolf dance in the skin of the animal to cure the sick. In Roman, er, in, in the early Roman cult, the Lupa and the Feronia, the great she-wolf, also known as Mother of Wolves, was the divine midwife and matriarch of the ancestral spirit. She was honored in an animal festival of the she-wolf, and she was invoked in purification rituals. In the Roman legend of Romulus and, Re and Remus, a wolf nurses the two heroes and restores their strength. That is beautiful with the raven thank you for that validation metatron angels my guides i know i can feel native americans here i mean i live on their land you know but i'm connected i've walked these lands before as a native american i am native american it's in my dna and i love when that happens thank you yep divine changes are happening metamorphosing there's the coyote the wolf and the coyote uh-huh that just happened whoops did I do that right that just happened that really just happened the animals pay attention to the animals pay attention to your animals as well please okay I feel like there's a warning for the for our dogs and stuff I just do I just do so big changes are coming in your relationship, your divine, because you're, this isn't just like a love reading. This is like for specific connections. It's the only way I can say it. It's very specific. Um, and there's so much along with it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope we'll take what you need, you know, leave the rest. 
and um, thank you for liking my video. This was a message, definitely many messages for someone. Remember, someone's missing you. Someone's missing someone out there. You're their best friend, and they're dreaming about you. And you you awakened this person at 4000. You awakened, someone awakened, many someone's awakened, many someone's. You are peace, and you are light. You are the divine spark. There is no separation. With that said, peace, love, and light.